Hello everyone, I'm Helen Yu here at Intel Vision Day 2. I have Ramton Davenlo here with me. He's the CTO for Intel and Accenture Partnership. Hi Ramton. Hi Helen, thanks for having me. Great to have you here. So tell me about how does Intel and Accenture Partnership speed up innovation and match capabilities to drive more desired client results? Sure. So we have been partnering with Intel uh, for over 10 years now, trying to bring uh, the latest hardware and software mm -hmm. from Intel to our clients. And the way we do this is uh, we look at the most popular workloads and applications um, uh, from our clients and we um, you know, use Intel technologies to optimize and reduce the cost and improve the performance of those applications and workloads. And, uh, and that's how like, we try to influence um, and like you know, a good example is running AI inference workloads um, that has been like, picked up dramatically recently, and uh, we found that running those workloads on Intel CPUs makes a lot of economic sense, and it's totally viable. Mm. And uh, that's that's a solution that we've created to try to route a lot of the workloads from expensive GPUs to just generic CPUs that are uh, general purpose CPUs that are available to everybody, right? And then for fine tuning and uh, high performance uh, inference, mm -hmm. you can use Gaudi 2, which is an AI accelerator by Intel uh, that could be used to you know, dramatically improve the performance of those types of workloads. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of fine tuning, right, tell me more about RAG and how does fine tuning enhance the potential of generative AI? Yeah, sure. So uh, we use different techniques for uh, different types of generative AI use cases to customize the, the outputs of, of the model, right? Mm -hmm. Fine tuning uh, is what we usually use to adjust the behavior of the model in a certain context or for a specific use case. For example, if you're using you know, an LLM to generate code, Right? We know that you're interacting with a software engineer, right? So you want to use more technical language, you want to use more logical you know, outputs, more deterministic outputs, right? As opposed to, you know, if you're fine-tuning a model to interact with a patient in a hospital, mm -hmm. right? So, so in those, you know, those are very different you know, kind of scenarios and in terms of behavioral you know, outputs, you need different, um, um, uh, different models. And that's when fine-tuning is very effective. Uh, with RAG is, um, you know, the use case is basically you want to bring, you know, an organization's data and add it to what uh, an LLM knows already mm -hmm. from generic data that it has, right? So, you, so to, with that, you, you can enhance the LLM to go and refer to the pri private, basically proprietary data before providing an answer, right? And if it finds you know, anything that's relevant to your question, right, it basically extracts that, right? And it's, with its capability to provide responses, it's gonna enhance the, the quality of output. Well, I love that because it's hyper-personalized result or output you're gonna have and with more contextual data right. as the input. Right. Fascinating. So what is Accenture and Intel's strategy for creating more secure and trustworthy gen generative AI applications? Yeah, sure. So security and responsible AI are two major requirements uh, when we try to like, put any of these you know, LLM applications, generative AI, in production. Right. So uh, what we do is we try to work with our partners and bring technologies from Intel that could help secure your environment, right? So a good example is uh, Intel confidential computing capabilities like TDX, right? That allows you to protect the data while you know it's being processed in the CPU, mm -hmm. right? And this is really helpful when you're like actually interacting with an LLM when it's running, you know, at the at the compute. And it helps you make sure that that you know your your company's data cannot be breached. Mm, wow, that's amazing! So keeping the data secure in real time—that's a dream for all the for for all the CTOs, right? Mm. Or for everybody across the industry. Um, what are Accenture Intel's plan 
for to enhance cloud environment, cut cost, boost performance, and most importantly, reduce carbon footprints for clients across the industry. So we realized that Gen AI is very compute intensive, and uh, we think that a combination of compute architectures are necessary to provide the best performance and price for Gen AI workloads, right? So we do a lot of benchmarking and optimization work to try to understand, you know, what is the suitable architecture blueprint for these different types of use cases, right? And we have developed a capability that we call Switchboard. Uh, and this switchboard capability allows you to, first of all, choose the right LLM mm -hmm. for your use case and the task that, that you're trying to accomplish. And then, you know, intelligently and automatically route the prompts to the right endpoint, right? That could provide, you know, responses that you want with the quality that you want at the lowest price possible, right? So this, this happens, you know, automatically for you know, thousands of prompts that you can get. Mm -hmm. And then eventually the, the, the objective function is to reduce the you know, carbon footprint, to reduce the energy consumption, to reduce the, um, the, the, the costs associated with running your platform and improving the, you know, the, the results that in terms of the quality of the, the responses that you're getting. Well, that's profound. Basically, you can choose architecture in real time to maximize your return of investment. Exactly. Yeah. So you can have a you know combination of different architectures mm -hmm. and choose uh, on the go, right? Which one is is most appropriate? Wow. Well, thank you so yeah. much, Ramtin. I learned so much from you today, and look forward to seeing you again at next Intel event. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Thanks.